What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answer. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God as there are many Decepticons running around these end times sent from the enemy. Had that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. So May 8th dream, y'all. Some things to talk about here because God been giving me a lot of confirmation lately. Um, but let's start off with the first dream. I had a dream that me and many other people were um, exiting and waiting for something, okay? These people were saying to me after we exited this place and waited for whatever we was waiting for, they were saying, get ready, get ready, get ready. And then um, I woke up, right? Then I, I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> so then I went back to sleep and I had another dream. This dream was about the enemy. So at first I was like, whoa, is this the enemy about the enemy being on earth? But as it went on, I started to understand. There were many people that were scared and they were fleeing, right? And this man was a representation of the enemy. Like he had this big house and like, it, it was just crazy. A lot of wealth surrounding this man. And, uh, but people were afraid cause they're like, if we approach this person, we might, you know, lose our lives. But for some reason, I don't know why my phone was in that person's home. You know, the one that was representing the enemy. So I was telling somebody, oh, I gotta go back and get my phone. I gotta go back. So we snuck in and I guess one of the guards, it, it was crazy. One of the guards didn't see us. So I went back in there and found my phone. And then we darted out after I got my phone out the back door. And then next thing you know, it was this area full of grass. I mean, it was peaceful. And then there was a rainbow in the sky. And that was symbolism. So we're going to talk about that. The first two dreams, let's talk about them. So when the people were telling me from the first part, get ready, get ready, get ready. The Lord is saying wealth is coming. So things are coming because, you know, every night he's been giving me confirmation about wealth transfer related things, blessing related things um, that are personal to me. But I kept seeing people say in this dream, get ready, get ready. And it was people waiting. So that was very significant. Um, and then this last part, or sorry, the second part with the enemy, this man represented the enemy. And because this man had a wealthy looking home, like he looked like he was wealthy in a big house more. So that's basically the Lord was showing the wealth of the wicked in the dream. And a lot of people are afraid of, you know, get intimidated by people who have a lot of wealth and stuff like that, you know? So it made a lot of sense that people were afraid to approach this person and the enemy has more of the control of finances or wealth at the moment, but that's going to change. So then when I went to go get my phone that was for some reason left in this place and we got it, darted out the back, then I saw this grassy area. It was like an unknown land too, like something people ain't seen before based off the reactions everybody was giving. And I saw this rainbow in the sky, basically promised land, the promise, land, grass, the promise, you know? So that was another piece of confirmation that with the enemy doing what he's doing, he won't be able to do it for, for long. And we walking into that promised land. So let me tell you the last part. I also had a dream that I was on this team of guys and I was new to this team. And you know how when practice don't go well, you know, coaches make you do extra conditioning and stuff like that. Basically, that's what happened. So I started run, running like a counterclockwise way and the other people were running a different way. So the coach said, wow, he hasn't been on the team, but for X amount of you know days or whatnot. And he's running the right direction. And you that's been here for a while is running the wrong direction. You're like, y'all should know better. And so I got pointed out and the people on the team got mad because they had been around and going the wrong way and I just got through the door and I'm going the right way and I got pointed out for that in a positive light and I heard one of the teammates say yeah he's fast but 
this is something, something he need to work on. Like, and I could tell it was like envy and jealousy. So the Lord expressed this. And we've been talking about this all in April. People that are already out there that's been on the quote unquote team or in these churches going out doing what they're doing. They're not going the right way and newer people are walking the right way. So they're going to be rewarded for walking the right way. They're going to be pointed out for being obedient and walking in the right way. So I thought that was an interesting dream. And there's going to be envy and jealousy that comes from that, you know, that people are just sprouting up out the woodworks and people getting mad. Now, here's another interesting point that I want to bring to you guys about the Fed now stuff. Um. That's supposed to be launching in July. Yeah, that should that should tell you how close we are with everything going on. OK, um, it's a lot going on with the Fed now stuff. And also, I was talking to my friend on the phone. I always talk to my friend. And he was telling me about because he goes to the store and stuff sometimes for his grandma. And he's talking about food stamps. He's like, they cut food stamps to like a very small amount, like they're cutting it into a certain amount of time. And I said, see, that's not a coincidence. And sometimes my friend will say things on the phone with me and it'll click, like some will click and I go up. Oh. Um, okay, I was meant for me to hear that one. So they're doing things to make people depend on them even more, to have them struggle even more. And that's part of how they get you. Oh, you need us. So that they can control what you're doing based on what you need. That's why God is, is doing what he's about to do even more so, so that you don't end up in these positions and situations. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's y'all, it's getting closer and closer and closer as we go and just position yourselves, you know, be smart and have that relationship with God and really seek confirmation ask questions if you need to with God I mean if you want to ask them here feel free just make sure you also take everything back to God it's so important okay we are really really not even creeping up on it we running up on these times we running up like look this is this is right around the corner okay right around the corner the change it's right around the corner. The Lord told me in a previous message. I can't even remember which one because, you know, we go left, right up, down, all over the place with God. But the Lord said we're on the brink of change. Like we right there. OK, so let's get ready. We've got to start having that mentality with God because the enemy is going to try to do all he can to stop us. Everything with these uh, crashes coming, you know, prepare yourselves. When the enemy tries to rob you of your transfer, rob you of any blessings, whether it be spiritual, anything, it's time to start defending what God has given to you. Even with Social Security, like, bye bye, all that stuff going to be gone. Why you thinking friends, they over there acting up because of the retirement age being boosted because they want to keep people in stressed out situations in the system so that you can depend on them and be rush, rush, rush. And, you know, the world is rush, rush, rush. And so it have you spend less time with God, you know? So I hope y'all understand this message as a whole, just covering a lot of different things, okay? Peace and blessings, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.